Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator here. And I have prepared an absolutely beautiful, but also not too hard nail art. Have we preview of this beautiful ballerina nails? A really nice and delicate, and I hope you really enjoy learning how to recreate this design. So let's start. I've got the tip red in here and the color which we'll use is 235. It's a really beautiful pink and I felt like, uh, again, I'm addicted to a pink Christmas today. And we are gonna do those amazing ballerina with uh, almost like a snowflake looking dress. So just apply a nice and thin layer of the gel polish and then give it a cure. In the meantime, I have already paint another one so the next step for it is a high shine no wipe top coat over it make sure it's applied nice and smooth and check how the light reflects on it because we are gonna be working with some chrome pigment do the same on another tip And if you find any dust particles, you have to remove it. And then the third one. The top cut has to be cured 60 seconds for the best results. And that's my first tip ready. So I can just remove it from the lamp and use the liquid uh, powder. And this one is a called Aurora. I really love it. And on each different color, it gives you different results. Um, so on the pink, it will look like a pink purple shade. Absolutely fantastic. Wrap this in. And that's our beautiful background ready. We have to protect it with the top coat because the next part of the design is going to be sugar it. So apply top coat over it. Look at all these colors showing through it. And then repeat this step on the other two tips. I like to apply usually about two coats of it, give it like a half a second for it to evaporate and then just wrap this in with the finger. I also find it that the liquid chromes tend to last better on my clients, like even on the ones which are quite heavy handed, um, the um, liquid chromes tend to stay much better. So if you don't have it one yet, just grab it from our website. Um, they are available in two colors, Aurora and an angel one. And I'm using Aurora one then now. And then the last tip. Wrap this in. And top coat it so pretty and once the top coat goes over it it's even better fantastic next step I've got ready my French gel so that's the art gel the white one and my D-liner brush and now we are gonna start painting those ballerina Pick up a small scoop because you want to paint his, uh, her head. Just a small rounded shape. Right on the top there is a bun. I think that's how you say it. Join it in. And then place some neck in here. You also want to add hand, so draw the line. The first one is going to be slightly thicker and then slightly thinner. 
the actual hand is just like a one line and then even smaller for the thumb. Paint another one. And this hand for a change is just much finer seen from the side. Start painting the body. And color it in. Once you're happy with that, we are going to do the snowflake dress. So from the side, you want to draw like a V line. A really pretty design. In between that rhombus shape look how small amount of the product I'm holding on my brush. It's a little bit more advanced design, but still make out of the simple shapes. Also, if you're scared that you might do a mistake, you could sugar it. Uh, just as some portion of it, clean it off and then move into the next step. I'm just taking a risk and painting the entire design. Then we also have to paint her legs. So pick up a slightly bigger amount of the product and draw the first leg. Then another one which is just behind it. And then start adding more detail into our design. So grab the dotting tool. And for the each arm, add some dots. Go back to the D-liner brush. Okay, 
and just drag them in. Couple dots and then grab some sugar glitter and sprinkle our ballerina. Give it 60 seconds cure and then start painting another new. So for those ones, since the first one was Kind of more advanced we're gonna go for a little bit more simple look place a dot in the middle just so you know where is your middle and then add five arms dotting tool and the dots So one single and then two. Join them in. My farm is playing funny. <laughs> This is probably from squeezing the tip holder too much. And then start painting with triangles, not triangles, rhombus shapes. And the last one. Each rhombus shape is finished with couple dots. And that's the first snowflake finished. Sugar it. And then move into the last one. So on this one, again, find the medium, uh, middle place. And this time we are going to do four arms first. And then in between those four arms, shorter ones. And 
very small amount of the product. Join this end into rhombus shape very slowly. We have just such a small amount of the space to paint into. And it's also lots of very easy design on, designs on these channels, like on simple snowflakes as well. So I thought like this one is going to be a slightly better one for you. Some sort of half swirl. clean the excess of the product from my brush so I did roll it, it on my mixing palette rhombus shape on the top couple dots you can really kind of do whatever you want to do when it comes to the snowflakes designs so what I'm doing now is I'm just searching for an empty spaces to add something into it And then we can do another rhombus shape in here. If you don't break it through the little steps, it looks quite complicated. But once you see a little step by step, it becomes much easier. Okay, I'm happy with the snowflake as well, so we can just sugar it. And then I can show you all three designs which we have created today. I really like them because it is something slightly different so remove the excess of the sugar and look how pretty it is let's place her right in the middle and then grab the snowflakes this one on the left and then another one on the right Look how pretty it is. Really nice and pastel-y. Absolutely amazing. I hope guys you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.